Let's not even begin with the J6 hostages. He calls them hostages at a time actually where there are hostages being held in uh, one of the two major wars that President Biden is dealing with, uh, Israeli hostages, some of them Americans, who are being tortured and truly held captive. But he wants to say the people who defecated on the Capitol, broke in, broke windows, ran through the halls, talked about killing Nancy Pelosi and Mike Pence, those people who are being held accountable for their crimes by courts through the law, he wants to call them hostages. It's sick. It's depraved. I don't need to say some say it is. Welcome back to the Wildcast, guys. Hope you are doing well out there. I'm your host, Rod, as always. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the first capital rioter on January 6th to break into the Capitol, being sentenced to more than four years in prison by a Trump-appointed judge, Judge Kelly. And uh, this is the guy in question, Michael Sparks, who is still ranting and raving about conspiracy theories about tyranny and how he basically still believes all the lies that led him to the Capitol. And he's not repentant at all. Uh, he's not sorry about the fact that the mob that he was part of assaulted police officers. He doesn't care. He's completely given up on America and thinks that uh, there's some kind of tyrannical cabal trying to destroy America. And that's the reason he was there, because he thought that he was saving America by helping this treasonous uh, criminal Donald Trump get elected, a guy who betrayed everything that the country is about. America because main achievement is that we've had a peaceful transfer of power for more than 200 years. Again, this guy is, non uh, is not repentant at all about what happened. Now, he's still totally cool and he thinks that what he did was awesome. Okay. Now, that is a contrast to many other uh, January Sixers who have apologized for what they did and they regret falling for Donald Trump's crap. And I give credit to these, those people. As somebody who has bought into uh, conspiracy theories when he was younger, I understand the mindset. I'm always willing to forgive people as long as they didn't assault you. We can't just let let them walk away. If you assault a police officer, you still have to pay for it. So there have been some, not some, a lot of actually January 6th or two apologetic. First, Trump supported to breach the Capitol on January 6th, sentenced to over four years in prison. The very first rioter to breach the U.S. Capitol during the January 6th attack was sentenced to more than four years in federal prison, specifically 53 months in federal prison. Michael Sparks, who spent the weeks leading up to the Capitol attack consuming and regurgitating right-wing lies about the last presidential election, uh, was sentenced to 53, 53 months in federal prison at a hearing before U.S. District Judge Timothy Kelly, who, uh, who also oversaw the seditious conspiracy trial of members of the Proud Boys, and they were also convicted, by the way. I am an American citizen who believes to this day that we are in a tyranny. You can always leave, bro. You don't have to live here, okay? If you're a, <laughs> you don't have to live in the tyranny. There are many other countries you can go to. For God's sake, Jack, why don't you just start your own country? No cops, no bad guys, just sweetness and lies as far as the eye can see. I've cut you a lot of slack on this because you don't know a damn thing about the 60s and weren't even born. I was born when the World Trade Center was bombed and the cops wouldn't have caught those people without undercover work. I'm not saying it's never justified. No, you just seem to think you get to decide. It's a police decision. Okay. Sparks told Kelly, adding that he believes the conspiracy theory that the 2020 election was, quote, taken from the American people. Yeah, just because the German traitor didn't get enough votes to win doesn't mean he was stolen. Just because Carrie Lake is a loser and lost because he, she demonized her own party doesn't mean that there was cheating. Just because you lose doesn't mean there was cheating by the other side. It just means you suck. It's disgusting. What do you care? Your only ambition was to be a total loser, which you are. OK, and these people can't get through their head that the American people overall don't like them. OK, people who care about the law don't like criminals like Donald Trump. And Donald Trump was a whiny bitch before the 2020 election, always whining about himself, not really presenting any solutions for America, whining about the Democrats 24 seven. So he lost the election. You don't belong in there. My advice to you, work on being a gracious loser. 
And Joe Biden won because he seemed like a normal guy. Joe Biden's awesome. Okay, he's one of the best presidents in my lifetime. I can't believe I'm saying that. I used to hate Joe Biden when I was, uh, you know, more on the left, uh, progressive. But now that I'm a constitutional conservative, I think Joe Biden has been a great president. I disagree completely with uh, immigration. I want to shut down the borders. But nevertheless, you know, I'm, I'm, immigration is not the most important issue above all. Democracy and law and order is much more important to me. And that's why I support Joe Biden, because he's not a, a tyrannical lunatic. I, I mean, excuse me, a treasonous lunatic. OK, it, it, the only tyrant here is Donald Trump, who just wants to implement his will on America. OK, listen to him talk. Watch one of his speeches if you don't believe me. If you can get through and find out what the hell he's saying because his brain is failing. He just came up. Are the teleprompters not working? So not even a little bit. Great job. And then I don't pay the company that does it. Right. And then I end up with a story Trump doesn't pay or I hope the military revolts at the voting booth. I went to a boat company in South Carolina, the boat. I said, how is it? He said, it's a problem, sir. They want us to make all electric boats. So I said, let me ask you a question. And he said, nobody ever asked this question. And it must be because of MIT, my relationship to MIT. Very smart. He goes, I say, what would happen if the boat sank from its weight and you're in the boat and you have this tremendously powerful battery and the battery is now underwater and there's a shark that's approximately 10 yards over there. By the way, a lot of shark attacks lately. Do you notice that? A lot of shark. I watched some guys justifying it today. Well, they weren't really that angry. They bit off the young lady's leg because of the fact that they were they were not hungry, but they misunderstood what who she was. These people are crazy. He said there's no problem with sharks. They just didn't really understand a young woman swimming now really got decimated and other people too. a lot of shark attacks. So I said, so there's a shark 10 yards away from the boat, 10 yards or here. Do I get electrocuted if the boat is sinking, water goes over the battery, the boat is sinking. Do I stay on top of the boat and get electrocuted or do I jump over by the shark and not get electrocuted? What was that about? Who knows? Bitch, be crazy. <laughs> Okay, he's a nutcase. He's lost his mind. And that's why he's going to lose again in 2024. And guess what? Sparks and all of his clown friends who support Trump are going to whine about how they took it from the, from us again. The, because this is what Donald Trump attracts. Dummies who don't care about the Constitution, who don't really actually know anything about the Constitution or the Founding Fathers, but uh, are brainwashed by social media, which is like a terroristic threat to America at this point. Social media is the great, greatest threat to our institutions because it's infecting the mind of young people and people of all ages. This guy's in his 40s. Uh, social media is a danger to American um, civilization. Okay, that's why that's my perspective. He would not be saying any of this stuff if he wasn't inundated with garbage on Telegram and X and other places, Twitter and other places. Okay. Kelly emphasized that Sparks had the right to believe whatever conspiracy theory he wished, no matter how divorced from reality, but that he did not have the right to storm the Capitol. Okay, he was the first guy in. Quote, I don't really think you appreciate the full gravity of what happened that day, and frankly, the full seriousness of what you did, Kelly said, explaining why he went over the sentencing guidelines. Honestly, those guidelines are a bunch of bleeding heart nonsense, you know, um, uh, recommendations. I don't I don't think the judge should even go by them. They should go overboard and sentence these people to much more. So he ended up getting 53 months instead of the recommendation of 21 months. That was the top side there. Uh, we don't have enough incarceration in America. The progressives are whining about too much incarceration. We don't have enough motherfuckers in prison. That's the real problem. Okay, that's what we have. We have too many criminals running around and more people who need to be in prison because they're a threat to the rest of society and especially women. <clears throat> Quote, a lot of us would like to see our country grapple with different challenges differently, Kelly said, a Trump appointee, but that did not give people license to behave as Sparks did, behaving like a bunch of jungle animals, breaking windows and breaking into the Capitol. So that's what he's talking about. Given his support from the community and his lack of criminal history, Kelly said there isn't any obvious explanation for what Sparks did on January Six. Oh, I got the explanation. Social media brainwashes ass. So even though he might not have a, any natural criminal instincts in his genes, uh, he was driven nuts by politics because politics and religion are the two things that can get regular people to do criminal things. You don't have to be Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy was broken from 
nature okay he had inferior criminal genes that's why he was a psycho killer who cut up women from throat to scrot no matter how much of a good childhood he had he would have still been a killer because nature made him a killer okay so people like him they're they're not natural born killer uh, you know criminals they're just people who got carried away with politics and religion it doesn't take any culpability away from them they still committed crimes and they had to pay because it's all about individual responsibility personal responsibility something that donald trump knows nothing about it's a personal responsibility responsibility by the way, one of the core beliefs of conservatives supposed to be the Trump side, all they do is blame other people. They never, ever take any personal responsibility. Quote, what happened on January 6th just cannot happen again, Kelly said, saying riders had interfered in a process foundational to our country's governance, the peaceful transfer of power. Quote, what a dangerous precedent January 6th said. What a par- Pandora's box it opened, he said. America had a perfect score quote unquote, for peaceful transfers of power before January 6th. He noted, adding, we can't get that back. It's gone. And guess who did it? Traitor Trump. Like he was so supportive of Trump and all the echo chambers that he existed in. They all love Trump. That doesn't mean the rest of America loves him. Most of America thinks he's a clown, okay? And the Democrats are so pathetic and they want to let every freaking, you know, loser in the world into America and they are with mass immigration. That's, that's the reason most independents are turned off by the Democrats. Uh, and if they just get their act together on immig- immigration and close the borders, they'll win forever. The Republicans have nothing without immigration, okay? B- uh, Americans will deal with... Uh, you know, bad ec- economics. And by the way, the Democrats are better on the economy too. If you just look at the numbers, they run up less deficits than the Republicans. So the Republicans have nothing. Okay. If you look at the facts. Um, so if the Democrats just l- stop letting dangerous people into this country, which they're doing all the time and they're pretending they're not, but they are. Okay. They want to open up the borders and let everybody in the world into America. That's what these progressives want to do. Okay. No, thanks. The regular Americans are not going to gr- agree with that. So they will vote for the other side. If you, if you want to let a bunch Bunch of you know disgusting animals into this country tonight two venezuelan migrants are under arrest in houston charged with murdering 12 year old jocelyn nangarai Immigration authorities say the suspects crossed the border illegally earlier this year and were released into the U.S. by the Border Patrol. Police say the men strangled Jocelyn and dumped her body in a creek. Her mother is devastated. Uh, then, yeah, then then you're going to lose every single election. That the, the Immigration is the only thing that the Republicans have. If the Democrats would just get tougher on it, and it's hard for them because their whole thing is diversity. They want to let the entire world into America. OK, so it's hard for them to be against immigration, but that's what you have to do if you want to win. I'm telling you what to do if you want to win. OK, because I'd be proudly voting as a Democrat if they're against immigration, but they're not. They want to let the whole world into this country. No, thanks. People in the West who say that borders are racist. What do you say to that argument? I, I, cannot, I cannot even discuss that. You shot me with this question. I mean, this is... I'm sorry for laughing, I, but I cannot take this. I cannot take this question seriously. How many millions of people they they died uh, defending their borders in the past? And if your ancestors were building prosperity of your country, you have the right to decide who you want to share it with. This prosperity. How will you be voting in this illegal migration referendum? I will be voting uh, against. So but the only thing, the only, only reason I'm voting for a Democrat is because Don, Don, Donald Trump is waging a war on the Constitution and George Washington and the, found, the rest of the founding fathers, who I have a lot of respect and love for. That's the only reason I'm voting for a Democrat, because the other side is a traitor trying to destroy America. The bottom line is this guy has ruined his life for nothing because the election wasn't stolen. Your guy, Donald Trump, is a loser. That's why he lost. By the way, he's going to lose again to a half Indian black girl, and he's going to be even more angry next time. <laughs> That's going to be hilarious. And um, and so, yeah, whatever problems I have with Kamala Harris, and I, I don't think she should even be running. I don't think she's qualified to run for president. But nevertheless, I'll vote for anybody to stop Donald Trump at this point. And not even just his words. He showed us already what a second Trump term would look like by the way his first uh, term ended. Because, look, he could not accept the fact that he lost um, in 2020 to Joe Biden. So then he tried to overturn a free and fair election and helped incite an insurrection on our nation's capital. And so I think that is exactly what a second Trump term would look like then, because it shows that he has no regard for our Constitution, for our institutions or for the rule of law, because he thinks he's above the law. 
this is a point you brought me to. My beliefs are not nothing like the the progressive left wing beliefs of the Democrats. I'm against most of their beliefs. Okay, but nevertheless, I we both have something in common. The Democrats and I, we all care about the Constitution. Donald Trump is a threat to America. Because if you're a threat to the Constitution, you're a threat to America. The Constitution is the legal foundation of this country. Anybody who's against it is against, is anti-American. And that's exactly what Donald Trump is all about. And we have to destroy him before he destroys America. That's how I see things. That's why I'm voting for Kamala Harris. Okay. And that's the bottom line for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you guys in my next one.